This video is about um, upgrading your Cisco switch iOS on a packet tracer. So, so there are three. Uh, there are total six steps to upgrade a Cisco switch on a on a packet tracer. The first, first of all, you need your your Cisco switch and also a server where the image file is stored. Then you have to configure the IP addresses on both the devices and then in a second step test the connectivity uh, to make sure there is a valid connection. In the number three you have to locate the iOS image on the server and in step four we're gonna copy the file from the server to switch using copy command. In a step number five we're gonna set the default system boot image file to uh, to a new iOS image that we copied from the server and finally we're going to reload the the switch using reload command so let's have a look in action so as we discussed first of all we need two devices Cisco switch then we need a server okay uh, the next step is let's set the connection as well between both you can use uh, any of the port on a switch. Okay, the next thing is to set the IP address on a on your server. So let's do that one. You can set any IP address, but make sure they are in the same in a in a uh, same network. So the network I'm using is 192.168.1. Dot one and the do device IP address is 10 and uh, let's do the similar thing on a switch so currently you can see we got the switch uh, iOS version 12.2 now idea is to upgrade to to version 15 okay so first of all let's set the IP address let's go to the configuration mode and uh, we land one IP address. I'm gonna assign the IP address 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask same as uh, the server. No shut. And now we can end. Go back to. Okay, now let's test the connectivity between the switch and um, the server. I'm going to use the PDU to test it. So currently it's in progress. You can see here it's failed. First time it can fail. Let's try again one more time. You can see it's successful. So that means the connection has been, it has been set up between switch and a server. So we have uh, now covered the first two steps this one and also the testing now we're gonna locate the target iOS image on the server so let's go back to the server uh, the images are are stored under subsets and then look for TFTP and uh, the switch we got 2960 so here's the numbers so this is the image that we are looking for so you can simply use the command control C from your keyboard that will copy the the image uh, name we need it for, I've already copied it here okay the next step is is now go back to a switch and then copy then you have to say tftp to flash so that means we are copying file from tftp um, to a flash memory in your switch now it will ask for the name of the remote host that was your server IP address 192.168.1.10 and now the source file this is a file that we copied destination we can keep it same and that's it that's your file is has been copied now 
so we have done this one done the fourth step as well now the fifth step is to set the default system boot image file to the new iOS file that we copied so this one we're gonna use the boot system command okay alright and let's go back to the switch again so in order to do that you have to go into a, a global configuration mode and then type in command boot system and here you have to paste again the image file and that's it that's done reload the switch and it will ask for to save the configuration just say yes and that's it and now you can see the switch is now loading flash file version 15 um, that we just copied from the server and also over here the version has been changed